Hello everyone, welcome back to the Debbie Derryberry YouTube channel. I have today two beautiful ladies with me, Debbie Derryberry herself and special guest Carolyn Lawrence, also known as Cindy Vortex and Sandy Cheeks. Welcome Carolyn, Debbie, how are you guys doing today? Well, we're great. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we're in Los Angeles. I mean, we're here. We're yep. together for the first time in a long time. A long time. So that's nice. Yeah. Always a good time. Always a good time. Well, uh, so basically what we're going to do today is reenact a lot of fan favorite scenes from Jimmy Neutron uh, with Cindy and Jimmy, as well as um, two fan favorite scenes from iconic movies. So uh, we can get right into it and you can pull up the PDF with okay. uh, scene number one. Jimmy is all the highlighted in red and Cindy is in yellow. Can and I just thank everybody for being here? You guys, yeah. thanks for watching all the social media and YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're pulling up the script. Do you want us to start? Yeah, go for it. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right. I, yeah. Here, we're okay. going to start. The following submissions were powered by Mark DeCaro's Universe Discord server. Thanks to every fan who submitted a scene. <laughs> Invention? Well, since I'm an inventor, I'll be the judge of that. What is it? It's called the real world and going outside, you nerd. That invention gets an F minus. Nice. That's <laughs> work. This episode comes from a uh, one of my favorite episodes, Trading Faces, where uh, Jimmy and Cindy switch bodies. You guys remember that one at all? We don't remember anything. No, ever. no, it was way too long ago, but all right. So yeah, um, well, that was, that was a thing that happened. Ready for scene two? Oh, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> ah, my ankles are freezing. Why don't girls just buy pants that cover their legs? Stop dragging my feet. Those are new shoes. Look, if we just act like each other, nobody will ever know. Look at me, everybody. I sure am smart. Admire my big show-offy brain! Do you think I spent enough hours on my hair this morning? Hey, hey, hey everybody, look at my ankles! When will I get a pair of pants the right length? Huh, who knows? So mean! Yeah. <laughs> that was, for not having seen the episode in almost 20 years, you guys reenacted that pretty well. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Well, we're professionals. Mm -hmm. So they say, <laughs> yep. I, I can tell. I can they see pay that. us, I mean, that's... Scene three is uh, season three, episode four, Stranded, where Jimmy and Cindy uh, fall off of the hover car and get stranded on an island for like two days together. Uh, it's a short scene, but just really get angry at each other for this one. No, no okay. problem. <laughs> Take. I gotta ask you guys though, like, how much of the bickering was just like nonstop yelling into the microphone? Did Pretty they ever awesome. have to? Did, did they ever have to like take down the intake or tell you to? Oh, we don't know. Our engineers at Nickelodeon are are magicians. They know I'm always loud. <laughs> yeah, they set the volume. They're used to me. I can't hear, and so everything gets loud. And you know. <laughs> Ready for scene three? Yes. All right. And I'm telling you that you can't see the equator. Just an unpopulated area like the Pacific Ocean. Wrong! The equator's invisible and apparently so is your brain. Well, at least my head doesn't need no time zone. Aw, why'd you have to go there? Cindy <laughs> Vortex, Nerdron. Is the, is the last time you guys did these voices together uh, the Comic-Con panel for the, the 15 year anniversary? Yep. Yep. And before that, it was 15 years before that. <laughs> <laughs> I believe so it. it's going really well. <laughs> so if all our fans could please, uh, you know, bark a little louder. We want Nickelodeon to bring us back. You know, wouldn't it well, be cool if they brought Jimmy Neutron back? It'd be really fun. Yeah. And because we live right here, you know, and 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 we're all still, I mean, why not? Alive. We're, we're <laughs> I'm the last two and a half years. Yes, it's amazing. <laughs> we're all still alive. I mean, the, I think the only one that's like not there anymore that's like part of main cast would be tim curry for calamitous i think everyone else is still in commission yeah yep yeah although i think tim could you know probably step up to the plate he would yeah totally are you 
you ready for the next scene? I am ready. Uh, so for this one, uh, this is our first movie scene from the B movie. It's the most iconic one about you like jazz. There is a link um, right under the scene if you guys want to watch it before you do it. So you have a lot more okay. context. Let's watch it right quick. All right, well, we'll try. Done. Yeah, we'll give it our best shot. All uh, right, best of luck, ladies. I bet you could, I know you could do it. I know you could do it. Warm it up. Okay, we are going to do a giant scene from the B movie. Okay, all right then. Channel, you're in a Seinfeld. I don't know, how should I start? You like jazz? No, it's no good. Uh, here she comes. Speak, you fool. Oh, uh, hi. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're talking. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm. I'm. I'm so. Ugh. You're talking. I know. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. No, no, no. It's okay. It's fine. It's just. Um. I know. I'm dreaming, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, you know. I'm sure this is very disconcerting. Yeah. I mean, this is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean. You're a bee. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a bee. And, uh, you know, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but, uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. It, it, look, Evie, we're all trying to kill me. And if it wasn't for you, I, I mean, I, I had to thank you. It's, it's just my, just the way I was raised. <gasps> okay, that was a little weird. I, I, I'm talking to a bee. Yeah. I, I'm talking to a bee. Anyway. And the bee is talking to me. Um, okay, I just want to say I'm grateful and I'm going to leave you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How did you learn to do that? What? That, 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 that talking thing. Oh, the same way you did, I guess. Mama, daddy, honey, got a blast. You pick it up. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, can I um get you something? Oh, well, like what? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, coffee? Well, I don't want to put you out, I mean, unless you're making it anyway. Oh, no, it's no trouble. Oh, it just takes two minutes. Really? It's just coffee. Well, I hate to impose. Oh, it's so pretty ridiculous. Actually, uh, I would love a coffee. Hey, you you want a little rum cake? Oh, I, I really shouldn't. I have a little rum cake. Oh, um, uh, uh, no, no, I shouldn't. I can't. Oh, come on. Well, you know, I'm trying to lose a couple of micrograms here. Oh, where? Well, these stripes don't help. Oh, you look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. <laughs> uh, are, are you all right? No. I really felt the inner Jerry Seinfeld in that. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> when we watch it, we're actresses. We pick that <laughs> All right, next up, we got a special scene from Toy Story, the iconic You Are a Toy scene between Woody and Buzz. And it only feels right that Carolyn switches over to Sandy as uh, she's somewhat of a cowgirl herself to uh, impersonate Woody here. And of Yeehaw. course, <laughs> and of course, our astronaut friend, uh, Jimmy Neutron, will be Buzz. So let's see how this plays out, ladies. Here we go. Never computer, the uh shut up, just shut up, you idiot. Sheriff, this is no time to panic. This is a perfect time to panic. I'm lost, Andy is gone. They're gonna mow from the house in two days, and it's all your fault. What my fault? If you hadn't pushed me out of the window in the first place. Oh, yeah? Well, if you hadn't have shown up in your stupid little cardboard spaceship and taken away everything that was important to me. Don't talk to me about importance. Because of him, the security of this entire universe is in jeopardy. What? What are you talking about? Right now, poised at the edge of the galaxy, King Gubon has been secretly building a weapon with this destructive capability to annihilate the entire planet. I alone of information that reveals his weapon's only weakness. And you, my friend, are responsible for delaying my rendezvous with Star Command. You are a toy. You're not the real Jimmy Neutron. You're a, you're an you're an action figure. 
You're a, you're a child's plaything. Oh, you are a sad, strange little squirrel, and you have my pity. Very nice, very nice. Uh, Debbie, when you were on Toy Story, weren't you? <laughs> I was um, the voice of the Pizza Planet. When you're at the Pizza Planet, you can hear me saying, um, well, when party of six, your pizza's ready. And I'm also Very nice. um, the alien. <laughs> no, when they say, pick me, pick me. Love um, it. I'm in the gumball with all those aliens. Yep. Yeah. C'est moi. Yeah. Nice. Um, uh, and, and didn't they, um, that line with the uh, party of six get you another job somehow? That oh, yeah. Line? The Pizza Planet lady. They actually called me from Disney 22 years later because they were doing rides at Disneyland for Pizza Planet. And they wanted that voice of the Pizza Planet lady. And I don't know how they knew it was me, but I went in 22 years later and did that voice again. Please keep your arms and legs inside the whatever it was, you know, those kind of directions. So you can thank me for your safety at Disneyland. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for keeping the kids safe. My pleasure. Yeah. It's what I live hey, hey, Carolyn, you've been doing Sandy for like 23 years now, right? <laughs> yes. Do you, do you remember the audition, what it was like? Did they tell you to do a Texan accent? or? Well, uh, yeah, they send a little description. They give you a picture and a little description. And all it said was she's a scientist, she's a squirrel, she's from Texas. That was it. And uh, what was funny is they said to me after I booked the job, they said everybody that came in was kind of giving her like a southern draw. And I was the only zippy, I guess, because, San I mean, squirrels are squirrels are zippy. They're not. Mm. Indeed, they're zippy. I would say they're about squirrels, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes. I, I mean, especially the ones here in North Hollywood. I mean, they're my peeps. Very yeah, zippy. Yeah, very like zippy. Peanuts. Yeah. Do you feed them peanuts? No, because I have a friend who's allergic, but walnuts. That must be one really intense allergy. Yeah, she's really highly. Yeah. Because even like the dust, like if I have um, something really good for me, like, like peanut, you, peanut, peanut butter, butter, butter peanut butter crunch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If I have cereal in the morning, I have to like, you know, I made a casting director once. I make hand lotions and sometimes I use sweet almond oil in my lotions. And I was giving it to this casting director and she said, What's in it? And I said, I named the oils and I got to sweet almond oil. She said, No, I'm allergic to almonds. I can't even get near it. Yeah, it's so, interesting. Yeah. Hmm. And now I wow. made a lotion without the almond oil and she was afraid of it. So she wouldn't even take it. So, <laughs> you know. I guess you have to just rub olive oil on you if that's the case. I guess, yeah. We do that's how we, we stay so young looking. We slather yes. ourselves with <laughs> olive oil every night. Well, they say Mediterranean diet, but what they really mean is you just, yeah. yeah. Mediterranean <laughs> diet and um, slathering. Well, <laughs> there you have it, folks. Uh, the, it secrets, the secrets <laughs> of Hollywood right there. That's it. Are we ready for another skit? <laughs> ready for another skit this is um this is also from stranded uh right when they get on the island uh and we're back to cindy you know get get their their friends do they ever get impressed and your kids call you and say mom do it i they know not to ask me okay see for I me get, i get so embarrassed i'm really i get so embarrassed that i i i don't like shut it down. i just yeah hmm. see for me it's a way to gain I points me. like you'll never talk to me He's oh. like, he's cool. <laughs> but if I have a chance to impress his friends and gain oh. some mom points, I'm all down. Sure. Yeah. We do what we have to do. We do. Of course, I have boy, you have girls. Yeah, it's different. It's different. Totally yeah. different. All right. I mean, so yeah. we are uh, ready for the next scene. Oh, we waited, Cindy. We're alive. Not for long. My mom's going to murder me when she hears I ditch school. School? Oh, great. Look at these clothes. The salt water's already faded the colors. Cindy, I, I don't think you understand. Oh, no. What? My piano lesson. Neutron, if I'm not back by 4.30, I'm in big trouble. Cindy, Cindy, listen to me. We are on an uncharted island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and the only people who know we're here are flying away from us at 100 miles per hour. We may never be found. Jump in Jupiter. <laughs> That wasn't really in the script. I no, but it, it was funny, though. I like your button. Thanks. It was, it was funny, and then the way you guys looked at each other. Like... In voiceover, we call those buttons. Buttons. Yes. There are some buttons. people who will always button a scene, no matter what. And if you button, they'll button after your button. Yeah. They button, button, you button your button. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. Those, when you know that we they know are, yeah. those, yeah. <laughs> Don't button my button, people. Yeah. It was a very good button. <laughs> let it lie there. Let it, let it shine 
Let my button shine. <laughs> w- was Neutron not like extremely buttoned though, from the way I've heard uh, recordings about where everything was just super improvised and thrown out there? And just not with us, with Mark and Rob. Yeah. Well, they yeah. didn't even need a script. Oh, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff, they didn't Jeff, need a script. You know. We are what you call the straight men. <laughs> they are the crazy funny people. That, and if we are the crazy funny people, we get fired. Yeah. The, the men get to be the crazy funny people. Yeah. The women do not. Yeah. Just saying. However, it, it was, uh, it's pretty easy because we just stand there and say, go. And then right. they, blah. <laughs> right, right. It takes the pressure off. Totally. Go ahead, guys. Go. Yep. What's a SpongeBob recording usually like? Is it a lot of like uh, fast passes and, or, or straight lace type stuff, or do you guys go off script often? We were always when the creator was still alive. We would do two passes as written, and then we would do one wild pass where we could do anything we wanted and come up with any ad libs we wanted, and that was always the most fun. Yeah. You guys still do those often, or are they a lot more? Well, now with everything that's going on, you know, some of us are in studio, and some of us are on video, and some of us are like it's all crazy. And are now you at home, or are you in studio? I'm in studio, mm-hmm. but now we're rarely together, so we don't get to play. <laughs> yeah, they've learned that they save a lot of money when they they record us one at a time because we don't get to riff off each other. Although it I, loses I, the magic, I think so too. Yeah, I like it when we're all together. Yeah. That's definitely what made the show so great. The way the chemistry went with the actors is how the characters would totally, work together. Totally. And we're getting a little bit of it back. Like now sometimes I'll be in studio and there'll be two other guys at their homes on video and we kind of can play that way, but it doesn't feel the same. Yeah. I want to be back together. One day soon, <sighs> we'll be together. Someday <laughs> soon. If everybody we get vaccinated. Hi, if you're watching this, please yes, get your vaccinations. Please boost it, all of it. Yeah. Yes. The whole thing wear masks yeah, kind of important make it easy for mm-hmm. us so we can come back and do what we want. We would to love you. to come back to work and we need you to do your part thanks so, so we can do our part right mm-hmm. and get your animals spayed and neutered oh yeah that come right. on and tweet a hashtag jimmy neutron revival while you're at it what <laughs> right tweet a hashtag jimmy neutron revival while you're at it thank you <laughs> thank you so much nice thank you joe don't you guys oh. love joe Always got to plug it when you can. Yeah. Yes, please. I should have worn a t-shirt that said hashtag Jimmy Neutron Revival. Would somebody make that and send it to us? Hashtag Jimmy Neutron Revival. We'll wear them. Didn't you work in a biology lab uh, before working on the movie? Me? Or, yeah. Or like oh, well, some I, sort of, I was, sort of a pre, sort of. I was a pre-med at UCLA and I had human dissection and I volunteered in the emergency room. And um, I took a lot of chemistry, calculus, physics, biochem, ochem. Yeah, I had the whole upper division pre-med. I did none of that. <laughs> I had a lot of big words. I know how to say them now. That's Thank about it. Goodness. Right? Do you think that yeah. helped you? Do you think that helped you get the job or was it just a plus? I don't think it helped me get the job. But when I did have a job, I think it really helped me um, say the words. Honest to God. Yeah. To say the words. I knew what they were. I can tell you. And every session I was like, oh, thank goodness it's Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> I remember there was one episode, though, where they had to talk about dinosaurs. And I don't like history courses. I never did well. And I don't know how to say those dinosaur names. And that was a day I, I had Botox on my lips. And <laughs> I remember that day. Yeah. You were like, Carolyn, can you can you cover for me if I can't? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Don't have Botox on your lips if you guys have a session and you have to say dinosaur names. No. And there was another episode where I had toe surgery and I was on pain medicine because I had uh, ingrown toenail surgery and I was kind of loopy. I was loopy (laughs) and I had my foot up and um, that was a tough one. Yeah. So now I know not to schedule sessions after anesthesia surgery or dental visits. But it shows you the commitment to the show, right? That it does. That it does. I, I could never tell in any of these episodes you were on Amnesia. Unless it was the loopy episode, then that was the perfect timing. Played right in. Yeah. My guess is they probably picked it up. They probably had me come <laughs> back and right. redo lines. <laughs> Dad, can you come in? We, we couldn't understand what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> but that was just one time. Come on, out of a whole lot of episodes. We're always like, right I was on. thinking about that, like 22 22- almost 23 years on my show I think I've only booked out because I was sick like twice Mm -hmm. I don't think and when we're voice artists I mean we try not to book out but if we're sick like with a cold it we can't sound like we're supposed to we're on to the next scene right right, this is the uh this is the last scene that I have written (laughs) out
Uh, this next scene has one line with Libby and one line with Miss Fowl too. So do you guys want to try your hand at? No. <laughs> no one wants to do Andrea? I'll, I'll do Andrea and come on. No. Libby? No. Okay, I'll do Libby too. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. This is from Raise the Uzi Scab when Jimmy and Cindy have to be on a project together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're going to try our best. I'm just going to leave you hanging in the wind. So sorry. I'm like, I'm out, Debbie. It's enough for me just to play the two at the moment. You throw somebody else in, and I'm going to just melt down all together. Wait, you're going to play two? No. Okay. You are. All right. All right. Here we go. Scene okay. seven. Okay. okay. <sighs> Poor Sputron. What's it like knowing no one wants to be your partner? I don't know, Cindy. Why don't you turn around and find out? <gasps> Libby, <gasps> what are you doing with Brittany? Um, nothing. This isn't the new mixed masterpiece CD and I didn't promise to do Brittany's entire project in exchange for it, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, uh, well, you two, it would seem you're the only ones left with our partners. Let the record show that Jimmy and Cindy will work on their oceanography project together. <laughs> Listen, Neutron, I'm not any happier about being lab partners than you are, so let's just classify some seashells and get it over with. Darn it all, Cindy. I wish I could join you in your fascinating seashell project, but I've already planned a dangerous search for a shipwreck in my extremely cramped submarine. Okay, I'm in. What? But there'll be sharks and... and Minimal leg room. I think I can handle it. Now, we'll need some quality personnel to man the controls. Uh, second thought, you guys will do. We'll sail at dawn. Gentlemen and annoying female interloper, by the end of this journey, we'll all be rich. Hell yeah. <laughs> You're uh, off. The, the Miss Fowl was the best part of yeah, that. Entire. That was great. Well, I just copied her you know andrea rocked it and yeah i she just really did absolutely imitated her so andrea where is she where is she joe i think in new york uh oh, as Ron far as i know right. did she, uh according to mark and megan if i'm not remembering wrong did she always like record from new york she wasn't yeah. there yeah, yeah. i never once no we never saw her in person nope yeah. Yeah. there's a lot of cartoons like that like this for family I never saw Justin Long, not once. And um, Laura Dern, not once. And there is, that's my mom and my brother. Anyway, that's for another time, isn't it? <laughs> this is about Jimmy and Cindy now. Well, you guys, this has been way too much fun. And oh, thanks for giving us an excuse to get together Yay. again. Absolutely, no, and it was awesome getting to meet you, Carolyn. And um, that, you that, was, that was amazing. No, no, that, that was amazing. You guys did a... I, I keep saying amazing, but it's, it's the word for it. Do you, think, it was, they're gonna, do you think the fans are just going to love it? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm waiting for them to take the audio and turn it into animations. Oh, oh you're so sweet. Thank you. Aww. Very pretty. I think Jimmy's stupid for not having a big crush on her. You know, oh. I, 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 I had a crush on you. I don't know why you never noticed. Nobody ever told me you had a crush on me. Don't you remember when we were lost and I got off quiet in the cave and I was sharing with you? It wow. was love. Wow. If only I had known and if only girls weren't full of cooties. <laughs> that's, that's it for today, guys. Uh, that was amazing. Yo. And I can't wait to see how everyone uh, likes this. And I, I guarantee you someone is going to take like the B-movie scene and uh, the Put it on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. animate It'll that together. Fun. It was all perfect. Camera. Ready, smile, go. And I'm gonna do one more. Hold on. That was all very great, guys. Very good work.